this episode of Open NASCAD by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share a neat and fun project with you. Now, this isn't an overly complex project, but it is a good project that shows the use of Open NASCAD and also I can have a little bit of fun with it. So one of the things that I've been working on in the shop is, is measuring a lot of things because i got a lot of projects going on. And one of the things, as a machinist knows, is you don't want to use the end of your rule or scale uh, because that gets worn and you can have some inaccuracy. So what I did is I whipped up this little bit of a scale guide. So the idea is, is you kind of see the scale going through the center of this block right here. And then, yep, right there. And then I've got this bolt, which I'm going to use a quarter 20 bolt and tap it to run down there. Actually, a nylon bolt to hold pressure against my scale. So then what I can do is I can move this to like the one inch or, or 10 centimeter mark and then measure against the surface here and use this as my edge. So this has actually worked out pretty good. I've come up with a couple different sizes and I've been pretty impressed. Now, one of the other pieces I've also done is I've put these index markings and now these are accurate obviously to the model itself inside of OpenSCAD, but again, uh, plastic contraction is going to change this in the end product. So really what these are for is not so much a, a rule as in one millimeter, two millimeters, etc., but um, to actually just be indexing points. And they also kind of look kind of cool in the end product. So again, not really complicated here, but it really shows a good use of OpenSCAD, how you can take something um, and design it in a simplistic and minimalistic sense very quickly and output it that's yet very functional. So I just figured I'd share this with you guys. The uh, code for this will be out on the OpenSCAD site so you can grab it. I'll have some STLs up on Thingiverse for a couple of the more common rules or scales. Uh, but again, this is all customizable as you can see here. So no matter what size scale or rule you have, again, you can create your own guide. So hopefully you found this of interest. And uh, if you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Get the bell too so you're notified when I release new content. And we'll see you guys in the next video where we design something else cool in OpenSCAD. Cheers. <laughs>